Commandment Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's your boy here, Wade Morris, owner of Pit Master Tremendous Q. And today, I got a super dope video for you guys. We're going straight caveman style. I'm talking outdoor cooking with nothing but a shovel, some steak, and salmon. All right. Now, before I go any further, for all of you that it is the first time here to the channel, thank you guys for dropping by. Click subscribe, cut on those notifications, so you can get alerts when I drop all my latest content. For those of you that are returning, I thank you. We really appreciate all you guys' interaction and engagement. Leave a comment in the section down below and let me know what you guys do and don't like about this video, all right? Now, with all that official stuff out the way, let's go ahead and jump right into the fun, all right? Let's see what a little bit of salt, pepper, steak, salmon, shovel, and outdoor fire can do for my appetite. Let's go. All right, so first things first, we're gonna have to get this nice, pretty finish off of this brand new shovel. So um, I feel like it goes without saying, but make sure you guys get a brand new shovel for this. You don't want any of the chemicals or crap from the ground or dirt from that you would otherwise have on a used shovel, okay? I think I grabbed this from either my local Ace or local uh, Lowe's hardware store. We're gonna put it on the fire and we're gonna set it right on top of the wood. As the wood is burning, it will We'll take a lot of that finish off and then I'm going to use a grill grate cleaner to scrape off all of that finish all right it's super easy and definitely something you want to take care of before you go ahead and get cooking but don't forget leave the fire running because as soon as you get done you can go ahead and throw in your protein so today I got a couple of ribeyes and I have a steak or a salmon steak now I will apologize the steak or salmon Wow, I can't get my life together. <laughs> the salmon video at the end of the completely cooked salmon and then me having it on a cut board for you guys, that, that data got corrupted. So I'm only gonna have a steak at the end, but I will spend a little extra time uh, showing you guys how the steak actually cooks. So on our beef steak, we're gonna be doing ground white pepper, sea salt, and that's it. Um, as far as beef goes, you guys, I am super simple. You almost wanna, you may even wanna call me Texas style. Like when it comes to beef, salt, pepper, that's it. Uh, I, it's how I do my briskets, it's how I like my steaks. I just keep it simple, stupid, kiss. So I'm gonna let you guys hear this sound real quick. Isn't that amazing? I'm telling you, you guys, it, it, it's like music to my ears. You know how you have those nature relaxation videos of the water and crashing the beach? And yeah, no, this is it for me. Meat sizzling over an open flame, it doesn't get any better than that, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get this flipped over. Again, total cook time on this thing was probably around 10 to 15 minutes. It really just depends on how hot you're cooking, especially with the shovel touching the flames, okay? And now with this steak done, let me go ahead and pause it so you guys can just get a look at this beautiful sear, all right? Pitmaster Jr. is about to make another intro, so I'm gonna shut up and let you guys listen to this sound real quick. Hey, that's a cool one. That looks delicious. All right, and our salmon steak. All right, I had this marinating in a little bit of water, some green onions, red pepper chili flakes, onion powder, and garlic powder, salt, pepper, of course, as well. You hear that sizzle? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you guys, it is music to my ears. Again, if you have made it this far, I absolutely appreciate you guys watching this much of the video. Don't forget to click subscribe, cut on those notifications, okay? Now, here what I'm doing is the salmon steak, it's fish. I don't have it in any sort of a fish basket, so I'm using a spatula to make sure it does not stick too much to the shovel and just flat out break apart, all right? Recommendation. Use some sort of oil, vegetable oil, olive oil. Use oil, put that on the shovel right before you lay your fish down and that will help prevent it from sticking, okay? And the flip. Again, <laughs> man, I seriously love barbecue. So, all right, we got the salmon cooking. This salmon took around 15-ish minutes. 
All right, so what I did though was once I flipped it, I'm going to pick the shovel up off of the coals so that it doesn't get too hot and cook too fast. I want the salmon cooked all the way through, not just seared on the outside and then raw in the middle, right? So I'm going to be shaking this shovel, kind of moving it from side to side, flipping the salmon, salmon over once or twice, and then just trying to make sure that I do not get the thing burnt on the outside while the shovel is sitting directly on top of the coals. Something you can do to kind of reduce the heat is break up some of those coals and just move them to the side. Or what you can do is like I'm doing here in the video, just lift the shovel off of the off of the wood, off of the coals, and you're gonna reduce the heat. On a rainy day or windy day, um, I don't know why you'd be doing this in the rain, but on a windy day, you're gonna be getting, you're gonna have a really hot fire. So just make sure you keep an eye on it. This is not something that you're gonna wanna walk away from. As we're getting close to wrapping up cooking this salmon, here's a wide out. This is the entire setup, all right? Super quick shot, but it's essentially just a brick fire pit that I have the shovel resting on uh, the wood, the handle of the shovel resting on the edge of the fire pit, okay? Again, super simple, super easy. It's just dirt in the middle of the fire pit. This thing can be built pretty much anywhere. And you see a lot of them out in the backyard. So it's a cool idea next time you have friends or family over, okay? As you guys can see, my steak salmon did end up breaking apart. All right, uh, like I said, make sure you guys grab some oil so that you don't have to worry about it sticking too much to the shovel, especially with no non-stick finish or surface on there. Now that we got everything inside, let's see how our steak turned out. I'm gonna just let you know right now, it was good. It smelled amazing. It was absolutely phenomenal i love beef pretty much any way you can get it um and this steak just turned out absolutely perfect again i apologize for not having the steak salmon uh the data got corrupt but i appreciate you guys watching this much of the video again click subscribe cut on those notifications and we'll see you on the next video here on the cooking channel all right peace